understand the past. Are you sense. available now to look for Marsha? She could be in trouble. She was supposed to make a trip to Foundation, but a group of initiates recently returned from there and nobody remembers seeing her. First, start by talking to her younger brother, Max. He might have an idea where she's gone. I'm going to remain hopeful that something didn't happen to her or anyone else who's missing. If something did happen while she was in our care, let's not worry about that just yet. Are you here to help me find my sister? Well, the last time I saw Marsha was when she told me she was going to Foundation for some things. I, I think that something bad happened to her. It, it was just supposed to be a quick trip to Foundation, but she hasn't come back yet. I just know she would never leave me on purpose. No, but when she said goodbye, she was acting really weird. She was like, you know I'll always love you, right? She never says stuff like that. It's usually, learn to behave, Max, or... Can you be quiet, Max? Her best friend, Luis Ramirez, might know something. He's an initiate, too. It was an honor seeing you in action. We're all still breathing thanks to you. I joined the Brotherhood for structure. Things are already ready for how can I help you? What has Marsha done this time? Missing. Uh, <laughs> no, she's uh, she's just running an errand to Foundation. Yeah, she'll be back any minute. Damn it, fine. I, I can't bear the thought of something happening to her. I can't be sure, but I think she may be with the Raider War Party. Those raiders have been fighting the Brotherhood ever since we got here. I don't know what I'd do if I had to fight Marsha. Good luck, and please bring her back. Ad Victoria. Order, learning, protection.
I'll go. It's my fault anyway. I know you're eager to help, but Sheena and Burke are the best there is. Anything that gives them trouble can be extremely dangerous. What are you doing here? You have some nerve showing up here after you sold us out. I'll let Marcia speak for herself, but I'm pretty sure she's not interested in going back. Hell no, I'm not. How about you don't waste everyone's time and just leave? Astute observation, detective. Doesn't make it any of your business. If we stand by and do nothing, then they will be dead. Sheena and Burke went to AMS headquarters to retrieve something for us and haven't returned yet. Marsha. Damn it. Well, it wasn't my plan for you to know about this, but now that you do, I guess there's no way around it. Marsha is not going back with you. She's going after Sheena and Burke. She's been bossed around by the Brotherhood enough in her life. Why don't you do something for her for a change and help out? I overheard some Brotherhood initiates talking about how AMS headquarters was a place of interest. It was the piece of intel I gave to Pierce and the others so that they would consider letting me join. It's my fault that they're missing. I should have tried to get more information. I'm not going back to Fort Atlas. No one gave you the right to make my life decisions for me, and the Brotherhood doesn't own me. I feel better having one of us there instead of blindly trusting the Brotherhood. Make sure someone is focused on saving Sheena and Burke. One of us? You really mean it? I'll prove to you, Pierce, that I belong here. I'll undo what I've done. You being willing to put your life on the line for us is indication enough that you belong in this family. Bring my people back alive and in one piece. I'll meet you at AMS. I'm not coming back with you after, though. I have a new family. I'd advise you to watch your step around here. I wonder how Max is doing. Automated Mining Services welcomes you to the home of industry. Visit... had to be the one who takes care of Max and me. I'm not used to accepting help, so thanks. Now that that's taken care of, we should look around and see if there's any trace of Sheena or Burke. I already did a sweep of this floor before that mercenary attacked me and didn't find anything. Let's try looking upstairs.
commencing attack on hostile targets. recognize that necklace anywhere. That's Burke's necklace. I've never seen them without it. My mom had a similar necklace that she always wore. Never took that thing off. I still regret not being able to retrieve it from her. Her body. I... Thank you. You're right. Max and I will keep her memory alive. Maybe I can tell you about her sometime. If you want. At least we know that Burke and Sheena made it to AMS. Let's keep looking. Raiders that went with Sheena and Burke. I hope they're still okay. I'm so tired of all the blood and death. I'm tired of losing everyone that I care about. First my mother's death, and now this. You're right. Sheena and Burke are strong. I'm sure they're here somewhere. Come on, we've got to hurry and find them. Sheena. I can't believe they surrendered. Hopefully that means they were taken alive. The Raiders. They really are like a family. The kind that I want to be a part of. Of course, they'll always be my family. I just couldn't stand staying in that place anymore with the Brotherhood. One day, they'll understand. Hell, maybe they'll even join me. We're almost to the top of AMS. We must be getting close. Let's hurry. What's 
girl are the ones giving my mercs all this trouble. We Hellcats don't put up with anyone getting in the way of us or our caps. This ends now. and Burke are? Captured? That's good. That means they were taken alive. We need to figure out where these holding cells are. See if you can find anything else that hints toward their location. I have no idea, but that son of a bitch is gonna pay for messing with Sheena and Burke. Please hurry.
Sasha, what are you doing here? And with this snitch, what the hell? The Brotherhood sent their lackey to try and bring me back. I told them I refused to even consider it until we found you. They're actually not as bad as I thought. And they helped me find you. But anyway, are you two okay? You look pretty beat up. Been better. Good work on giving these mercenaries hell, Marsha. You can make a great addition to the war party. So, can you get us out of here or not? I appreciate your help. Don't worry, you two. We'll get you out soon. Sheena and Burke, we can talk. What's up? Sure, I'll hear what you've got to say. You, Ramirez, Odessa, you've all shown me that maybe all Brotherhood members aren't the same. But I can't just leave the war party. We're family now. I never thought that I would be faced with having to decide between two families. You're right, though. I can't just abandon the people at Fort Atlas. Marsha, no. Why would you go back to them? The Brotherhood are our enemies. I'm not joining the Brotherhood. But I can't just abandon everyone at Fort Atlas. Their initiate helped me see that. I'm sorry. I really am. I'll never forget the way that you all accepted me into your family. I hope that one day we'll be able to see each other again. And it won't be on fighting terms. Thanks again. For everything. I'll see you back at Fort Atlas. Welcome back, Initiate. I see that Marcia has returned and in brighter spirits than before. I don't know how you managed it, but... Great work! Did you discover anything else on your mission? AMS? Those headquarters had been a point of interest to the Brotherhood for a long time. I see Marcia was not shy in sharing our intel. Shin is going to freak when he hears of this. Very interesting research on the effects of heated ultracite on the human body. Horrendous that they were performing these secret experiments, though. We'll learn what we can from this. Thank you. Hmm. This letter is concerning. While Marsha wasn't missing, it seems that these Hellcat mercenaries and the Blue Ridge Caravan Company are both involved in the other disappearances. Please, take this to Romani as soon as you can. She'll want to hear about this. Thanks for your help, Initiate. Things have gotten dicey, but we're a brotherhood. We'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> 